Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Southern Knights, back at you with a quick video. Like and share, subscribe to the channel, but I just want to report that it's been another home invasion in a suburban area. It was like four people that was attacked in the home, beaten up, tied up, and the suspect ran out the door. And so basically, this wasn't even a robbery. This was just something that they pretty much did. I, they didn't say that they took anything or not. They just said they tied them up, beat them a little bit, and they just ran out. Seemed like to me it was personal, but it could be an incident or initiation, whatever the case may be. But anyway, I told y'all that these crimes, these home evasions in Los Angeles is going to be ongoing. I don't think it's going to be, I don't think it's going to be a New Year's thing. I think it's going to be a year round thing in California. So this make another house in the suburbs where no crime used to be at done hit a suburban area. Cause the guy said it himself. And I'll put the links in the description box. He been there for 30 years. Never seen no crime, nothing happened like that. 30 year span now. So they let you know this is a different America than what you saw 30 years ago or maybe 10 years ago. This is why we try to tell people over and over. And one of the guys, how the suspect got in the house, one of the guys was taking out the trash he was confronted on his line, on his property, and they got him in from, from there. And they, I guess they escorted him back in the house at gunpoint or whatever. So this is why I be trying to tell people, keep your head on the swivel. If you're going outside of your house during the night or during the daytime, you may want to check your surroundings, check the windows, and see what's really going on. So you never know, especially on this um, New Year's weekend, where everybody gonna be out partying. So you know, it's gonna be more incidents that's gonna be happening. Everybody gonna be congregating. So people need to be safe out there because like I said, these incidents are happening more often, especially in Los Angeles, Los Angeles, done became a crime zone. <laughs> I'm just, I was just keeping it real. And that place right there, I feel like if this keep going on, I don't think it's going to be, it's, it's probably isolated incidents as for right now, but they might want to be under the state of emergency if it continue to be like that. But if Chicago is like that and they ain't on the state of emergency, then I don't I don't think they're gonna do it. So yeah, but that's the story. That's what went on. And nobody wasn't killed or nothing like that. They just got tied up, beat up, bruised up a little bit, and they just went out the door. I don't know if, if somebody noticed that they was there and retreated, but it could have been a lot worse. It could have been sexual assaults involved or could have been kidnapping anything. So the situation could have been a lot worse. So that's why we try to tell people, hey, the Second Amendment, get your firearms up, protect yourself, watch your surroundings. And other than that, I just wanted to come and bring this quick video to y'all, let y'all know that it's getting bad out there. The guys in Los Angeles, you already see the crime that's going on. This may, a few times, they just ain't going into the urban areas no more. So all the all of y'all safe havens that y'all thought that was safe havens, the suburban areas back after World War II, where no crime was going on at, those, those not safe havens no more. I, and I hate to break, break the bad news, but that's just what it is. It lasts probably like 
for the last 50 years. You might have not seen no problem there. But since the suburbians kicked off after World War II, that's been like the safe havens where people go and raise their kids, families unmolested, unharmed, but not in 2022. So I'm going to catch y'all on the next video. And peace. Oh, subscribe to the channel, by the way. All right, peace.